What's up guys, welcome to your 24th C++ tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to read a file. I already showed you guys how to write a file, so um, it only makes sense. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is include uh, some more libraries. So let's go ahead and put include. And the first one we're going to include is something called fstream. Uh, I think we included this last tutorial, but I deleted it since then. So, and another one we want to include, spelled that wrong. Uh, another one we want to include in the last one for this tutorial is the CSTD lib. I believe this is the C standard library. And this fstream is going to let us um, read files. And we need a method from the C standard library because we're going to be using uh, just one function to shut down in case everything goes wrong. So, um, not really important, not part of the tutorial, but you definitely need them. So, how this program is going to work is we're going to show a blank line on the screen, and we're going to have the user type the name of a file they want to open, and when they open it, it's going to read through it. So, let's go ahead, and the first um, uh, variable we need is a file name. So, care file name, and just set equal to 50 or something. Should be plenty enough unless you have some huge file names. So the next thing we need to do is, in order to open files, we need a special object um, to open them. So I'm going to name my object Bucky. So from f if stream, um, go ahead and give it an object. Again, I'm going to name my Bucky. You can name yours whatever. And now, anytime we want to work with files, we have to use that Bucky object, and this can use the functions. Uh, to open files, read files, write files. But anyways, that's the object you need. So the next thing we want to do is give the user an opportunity to write whatever file they want to open. So of course, use your C in and get line, and this is going to give them a cursor, of course. And whatever they write is going to be stored in file name, and just put 50 again. Makes sense. And now after they enter that. Their, whatever file name they type is going to be stored in the variable file name right here. So now what we want to do is open it using our file object. So Bucky, again, open. That's a built-in function in C++. And let's go ahead and open file name. The parameter it takes is what file you want to open. And of course, don't forget your semicolons like I've been. So now what we have here is... Um, pretty much made a variable an object we said alright go ahead and enter a file name and then I'm gonna open that file so now let's do some housekeeping stuff the first thing we need to do is test if the file is open and if it isn't we want to exit the program immediately so let's go ahead and put if and put explanation point Bucky is underscore open and this will test Bucky is open will be true if it opens. So if explanation point, it means, all right, if this is not open, what do we want to do? There we go. Well, what we want to do is exit and then go ahead and write exit underscore failure. And um, this, if you're wondering where this function came from, this came from the C standard library. So if the file can't open, we just want to exit the program. We don't want to, you know, this is a simple program I'm building. So, you know, no need to do anything else. So easy enough. And let me scroll up right here so I can show you guys a little more. And now we can move on. So the next thing we want to do is if the file is open, then actually do something besides just having a blank cursor sit in our screen. So let's make another variable called word and set it equal to 50 and make sure I haven't been forgetting my semicolons I've been programming Python all day so I might forget my semicolons might not so the next thing we need to do is get the value the first value from that document so go ahead and get word and now let's say while Bucky dot good again good is a built-in function and this is gonna say alright while we aren't to the end of the file yet and don't use is open because if you use is open then it's gonna keep going so good is a function that means alright as long as you aren't to the end of the file 
and remember this um while loop is only going to run if the file is open so we don't have to test for that and what do we want to do if the file is open well let's go ahead and just output to the screen what's in the file so c out word remember that's the value and then let's go ahead and add a space in between because if we don't it's going to look like a huge long word because whenever it uh, loops through it's going to om omit the spaces so let's go ahead and after that let's go ahead and just get the next word so let me uh, run this for you guys and as you can see well you can't see it oh, crap I tried to drag it didn't work but anyways I have a file in the same directory named beefy and I'm going to go ahead and open that so execute compile and run come on baby see how many errors I got come on come on there we go so let's go ahead and type in beefy dot text go ahead and there's only one sentence that says, it says this is a new file that like yada 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 and if you don't believe me here's beefy right here this is a new file bam so let's go ahead and uh, try to enter a file that we don't have um let's go ahead see I had beefy in that same directory but I don't have a file called like um tuna fish or something so tuna fish dot text open that it exits so let me show you guys one more time how this works we went and we included this stuff t so we can use the built-in functions that uh came with what we wanted to use you should know what what those mean but here's to the meat of our program we first made a variable called file name because whenever they inputted that we need something to store their file name in we next built an object so we can work with files we had them input something on the screen and they stored it in the variable file name we next opened that file depending on what it was and we said alright if that's not a file and if we can't open it just exit the program like we did when we typed tuna fish but if it is then do this what you need to do is we need to make a new variable to store the values um, each value was a word so that's why I named it word and then what this did is just loop through each word and put a space in between and at the end of that of course system pause return nothing yada 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 not that exciting but you need to know it so that's your quick tutorial on how to open files and how to read from them again uh, this isn't the ideal ideal woo -woo -woo way you want to do this but this is probably the easiest way that I can explain so that's why I did that so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial so thank you and I'll see you then.